What is going on, my lovely ladies and gentlemen of the world? Following the trend, I wasn't going to do this, but then it just it became kind of a thing. You know, like, why not do a character's mission mode and then follow that up with a replay theater of that character? And so, here I am. So one really cool thing about this uh, that I wish they would alter a little bit. If you're listening French bread, I don't know why you would be. Uh, feel free to fix this in the future. Release the American English worldwide release. Kind of foolish to believe it's just American. No. That's that American arrogance right there. But no, um, just making it so you can choose to just watch it from here instead of also downloading it. Because currently you do both, like even though you can watch from here and not have to go over to the replay mode, uh, you do eventually have to go over there if you want to delete them and remove them. Although I guess it doesn't really matter because it probably has that same... All of the games that I've had replay theater have a 100 replay limit, I believe. So eventually, if I just stay here, shit will just get overwritten. I don't know. Anyway, so we're here to watch Mika, obviously, and following the trend still we're following the trend of the established uh you know do the mission mode do a replay theater also seeing the character in question get fucking body bag like it's just, it's really weird that i mean this has happened for nanase for user reha for did it happen for phonon too i actually can't remember but a lot of the time, it seemed like the replays were of uh, people just getting their asses kicked. But Mika is has bucked the trend, has decided that she had wants no part in your system, and is gonna fucking get a perfect. This is actually one of the big things about this game. A person can look really, actually, just kind of in general, people look really weak when they get put on defense. And then, like, but if they get offensive momentum themselves, they make the other player look weak. Like, this is not a, an easy game to uh, defend on. And in fact, it might actually be the hardest game to play proper defense against. And uh, it really, I feel like it's actually showcased perfectly well because it's just almost all the time. One person gets momentum and it's just over from there. Or people just won't block, uh, people just won't tech throws. It's actually really, it really irritated me. <laughs> because for a very long time when I was playing this game, I kept trying, I started, like, initially, you know, I, I just wasn't reacting to throws at all. But finally that got fixed, and I started reacting to throws. But, I was reacting to them instinctively by pressing the tech buttons for Blaze Blue, which is B plus C, which is, to tech in this game, you need to press A plus B. So, I ate a lot of throws that I would have teched were I pressing the right buttons. And then, so now I'm finally starting to tech throws in this game, everything's looking fantastic. And then I go and play Blaze Blue, and I fight against somebody that's spamming throws. And I start reacting to those throws by pressing A plus D. <laughs> I was really mad. No shit! Oh god damn it! I meant to press can- oh okay, it doesn't matter, we're good, we good, we solid. I think I just downloaded the same replay twice, but whatever. All right, let's so let's see if Mika can win this one. I should just start. Well, I could do it beforehand, and I could make a list of ones to watch. I mean, at least get a balance. Like Mika doesn't have to win every single one, but just making sure that, unlike the Nanase one, which is the most memorable, she doesn't lose every one. Like I get a like you know, just try to get a majority of wins. You know, because they do allow you to see beforehand. Although I'm not sure if they allow you to see it in this mode specifically. That may be replay theater only functionality. I'll have to check that out after this. If I can remember. But we're starting out, uh, well. Okay, here we go. I mean, Mika is very... At least as I understand it, she seems pretty... Despite the fact that she is tiny. Doesn't give a fuck because she got those giant ass gauntlets. I'm pretty sure she's a fairly gorilla-esque character. Like, she, in my experience, she has some really wild normals that you absolutely cannot underestimate. But, 
You don't need to worry about those normals if you just keep her on the defensive all match long. I'm gonna stagger those a little bit. Every single time I've noticed this use a reha will block a little bit and then start pressing buttons. But that didn't see like right there, you got a counter hit. Needs to do more of that because she's pressing buttons every single time. So if you stagger your pressure, which is actually a really important facet of this game, is staggered pressure so you can react to things. Like if you see somebody shield and you run up and you throw and you grid break them instead of uh, actually throwing out a normal and letting them shield that normal, you know? All that stuff like that, and a lot of it is... That might not kill, yeah. Okay, that will. And a lot of it is derived from just staggering your pressure and reacting with mix-up. You know, maybe you want to, maybe you don't want to continue pressing normals, maybe you want 83% win rate, god damn. Um, okay, well here we're guaranteed a Mika win, so I'm solid with, oh fuck. <laughs> this is the downside. <laughs> oh boy. Of, uh, doing this. It's just, everything, I, I have to press buttons. I'm not used to having to press. And so occasionally missteps like that will happen. Like, Mika can actually react, I think. She has a really strong, because she has that lunging... So, you see she has her lunging command grab. And it doesn't matter if you're in block stun or not. As far as I'm aware, it's techable. It's treated as a normal throw. But, if you see that green shield pop out and you react with the command grab, you're gonna grid break them and it becomes untechable. And that's something I have not seen yet from any Mika player. At least not any console Mika player. I'm sure there are arcade ones that will abuse the hell out of you for that. Oh my god, that is actually... Let me know, I mean this is far... No, never mind, don't let me know. I was gonna say, let me know if the music volume... Because to me, the music is actually a hell of a lot louder than anything else, but... I shouldn't say a hell of a lot, but it definitely is definitely the most overpowering sound. It's the loudest. Uh, but it does, it hides Mika's voice a bit, which I'm very, very, I'm okay with. <laughs> it's definitely some jam-esque voice acting. Start from a JA? What the fuck? Get almost 3k from that? Like, not just a JA, an assault JA. Oh my god, that. Holy fuck! I'm not even watching the combo, I'm watching the damage. That is a lot of damage. That. Co that command grab has like no real damage scaling holy shit that was uh 
that was pretty nutty right there damn 50 I think that's actually that might be I mean I know they exist out there but that might be the first 50 or 5,000 plus damage combo I've seen happen without either or both chain shift into infinite worth like one of the two usually requires one or the other if not both for most characters but that was just command grab Vorpal there was nothing else involved there or sorry command grab chain shift Oh, Merkava stole the Vorpal right at the end. Okay, that's a... Oh. Alright, I'm seeing things. I thought it almost looked like Mika's health bar jumped up a bit to me. And I don't know why I saw that, but it just I, I'm just hallucinating. But still, it looked like it did for a second. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> what just happened? I'm surprised she doesn't get anything off of that for counter hit. Not worth it? That can't be worth it. Can't, I guess it is Merkava against Mika, so you reset neutral. And that's pretty worth it. Given how much of an advantage Merkava must have. Are we about to see Mika lose again? Oh my god, we just might. This isn't looking good for her. She has Vorpal at least, but any one random pick confirm. Okay. There you go, Vorpal has 200 meter. Okay, that's bad. Could you imagine if he had if he had been lucky enough to get Vorpal right there, he could have finished the match. But he was just tiny. I was watching the grid the entire time. He was like a sliver of a block away from getting it. This is just not this is no bueno, man. And now I got like she's immediately oops getting thrown up against two top tiers next. Seth is the undisputed S tier. Akatsuki is the maybe S tier, but most people are starting to lean toward high A instead. Still better than Mika. I don't know where people place Mika, but I do know they're not really, she's not exactly in talks of being one of the best characters in the game. As far as I'm aware, those talks are Seth, Phonon, Batista, and Byakuya. That's why. That was a- so in case you are unaware, I am now made aware, thank you Orion X Elite, for finally putting the issue to rest. That is unavoidable. That is completely 99.9% .9 unavoidable. The 0.1% is if you manage to get lucky enough to do- is it called a Void Cancel? Whatever this game's version of Alpha Counter is called, that's the only thing you can react to with that, which either requires you to have Vorpal and expend your Vorpal on that, or, alternatively, use a 100 meter and grid break yourself. So, uh, yeah, that's a very costly option. So that's the only way out of that, unfortunately. That one was, I think, potentially avoidable. It just, it depends on what Mika's options are. But I feel like she could have either used the normal version of that to escape it, or could have used something in, oh my god, that was just... We're getting no showcase of Mika. It's been... I don't know. Uh, like, why? <laughs> Damn, man. This is ridiculous. Seth is a ridiculous character. Like, they went overboard with that dude. That's really all I have to say about that. And the unblo having an actual, legitimate, unblockable from block stun is the icing on the cake. <laughs> This 
dude just keeps getting hit. I mean, at least we're seeing Mika win, but like, he just keeps getting caught. <laughs> Again. Like, I don't, I, th I think I've only seen him actually block once, but that was only after he got hit the first time and the Mika just didn't hit confirm. <laughs> This man just did a full screen overhead. And even worse, it actually worked. Dude, like. <laughs> eh oh! I got excited because he blocked for a second. <laughs> it didn't last for very long. <laughs> Okay, that's a start. Why is he, that has to be an execution mistake? There's no like that's not that's not even a good tool to use in pressure to begin with. That's one of the slowest overheads I've ever seen. And the only way you're getting caught by it is if you are completely and utterly ignorant to the animation. But if you're at all familiar with the game, you are not getting caught by that, even in, even in a block stream. But this man's throwing it out in neutral. I don't get it. This is cotton candy, Ori. That's the only- when I see colors like that, that's the only thing I can think of is cotton candy. Oh god. This is a really bad start. Oh, and she got grid broken! You are so fucked. You are so- that is actually no avoiding that. There was- because she's grid broken, she doesn't have shield in the air, so there was... Literally no avoiding that. She could have done it again, too. Like, jumping on reaction to that is a really bad idea, because you're gonna- you, The Ori has a shit ton of blocks done to confirm that you are in the air. And she can either hit an anti-air on you, like her 3B, or... She can do what she did the first time and jump up and meet you. But with that one, you can't, you would be able to shield block it if you have it. the one thing I think above all others like I mean it's something that I've harped on for a very long time just in regard to fighting games is that people really just never focus on their defense and never really improve that aspect of themselves which I also fall under that like I when I'm really focused and I'm really trying I feel like I have really good defense but the problem with that is that I play fighting games where Having optimal defense requires you to instant block, and that is something that I have never practiced, I've never tried to train myself to do, and so I just, I don't do it. And, uh, because of that, my defense, regardless of how well I block, will always have big flaws. Big, abusable flaws. And, uh, so, but it, people don't even really bother with that part. Like, a lot of people are way too reliant on reversals in general, I feel. And in this game, there really, there's very, very, very few meterless reversals. There are some, but they don't come around often. And meter's a very valuable resource in this game as well. So if you have to use it to cover up your lack of defense, it's a big flaw. That was probably going to be big damage if she had actually managed to confirm that.
Almost. Very, very close. Holy shit. That is not something you want to get hit by. He could have won off of that, right? Because he has aerial... Does he have aerial supers? I think he does. I don't know. Default color phone. You don't often see people using default colors. Which I don't think I ever remember. Looks like it's a charged fireball as far as I can tell. And I don't think that was ever in. Well, I shouldn't say I don't think that was ever in. That was never in any of the missions. really need to learn when your metered options are going to kill and when they aren't. Because that was a waste of 200 meter that could have been very useful otherwise. There you go. React to that green shield, run out throw. It's free.
good catch of the jump back. All right, one more. Let's find a good matchup. Is there a Mika versus Nikitu? That's what I'll look for. Versus Wagner. Ah! Eh. Is there a better one? <laughs> nope, that's it. Uh, fuck it, let's go for it. I was just, I'm looking at the rip right now. Although, I guess he has gone up. He's gotten to 600k. Good block string. Not a good hiccup. That move is so good. Good whiff punish. Gonna die for that, never mind, didn't hit confirm. Counter, unfortunately he got gypped on that. His uh his EX counter is really awkward a lot of the time. Like that I think normally it'll do like twenty two hundred damage if all the hits hit, but it's very rare that you actually get all the hits to hit. It's really irritating actually. So you saw he only got 1500 damage for that. It should have killed, but unfortunately, Mika's hurt box is just too small to get hit by everything. He has been hit by that every single time. Good anti here, no confirm though. She needs to tighten up her meaties. She's just allowing him to jump out on every single wake up. Good side switch. Hey, guess what? Is this the same one? No, this is a different one, right? Because I remember distinctly, hey, if he had done 623C there, it would have killed, and then they void, or uh, they chain shifted. I don't know, because this is around, these are the older ones. So it's definitely possible that that's the one where that same exact thing happened. This is a repeat of an old Enkidu replay theater match. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for Mika. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you around next time.